Hey everybody, it's Reverend Tommy Two Tone and Crimson Steel Rick Avery. Hi everybody. And guess what? Today we got a different sort of review, and I'm gonna let Rick take this one. Go ahead, man. Yes, sir. I'll place an order with our friends Renee Rohrbach and Chef Ricky Sanders at uh, Madison West Chocolate Tears, and um, they sent me some extra stuff for us to uh, review. Okay. So, uh, well, uh, what so is it? I'm it is the Java Stinger Caramel. Uh, Stinger. Let me just read to you what's in this stuff, folks. We have rich coffee, Trinidad and Maruga peppers. Punch up this unique caramel sauce. Bring some sting to your favorite dessert, sandwich, or fruit dip. It has the Java Stinger ingredients, sugar, butter, heavy cream, espresso, chili pepper powder, vanilla, and it says refrigerate after opening. Now I myself do not drink coffee, but my buddy here does, so I'm going to try it out on a couple of uh, chocolate chip cookies, but I like coffee flavoring, so I have no doubt that this is going to be incredible. And since it's caramel, I guess it really doesn't matter if I shake it up or not, but I'm going to let you look at that a second time. What do you think about that? I like the way it's decorated. It just has a nice little scorpion stinger, and uh, it says Java Stinger. It has a QR code on it. Interesting. I like that. Uh, I'll say this. Every product that they have sent that, that I've ordered has been outstanding. Mm -hmm. uh, the best chocolates use the best chocolate. I mean, uh, the heat has been manageable in it and, and didn't take away from the flavor of the chocolate. Not so, all. with that in mind, I'm thinking that all these flavors are going to come through regardless of the heat. Even in my coffee, which will be interesting right. to try heat with coffee, I think. Well, uh, let's, not, let's not waste any more time. Let's open this up. And, uh, oh my, here we go. Oh, my. yes. Oh, oh, man, that smells fantastic. Mm -hmm. Smell that. Looks like I might want to stir it around a bit. Yeah, I think I might. Mm. I'm going to set this. I'm going to set that on the plate for Oh, now. I love that. Let me Let's smell that. Again. And I will stir it around some. I mean, the coffee is just, you smell it. And it's tell you what, so you drink the coffee, I'll drink this. Okay, how about that? Oh, man, that looks so good, too. Get out, yeah, yeah, get it all off the edge. Yeah, yeah. Coffee looks like this. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh. Son. All right. Now, I'm not going to kill myself with it because one, I'm on cookies, and two, I think that's way too much anyway, so I'm going to share it with my other cookie. I'm going to let you use, oh, you got your own, yeah. son. Go right ahead. I'll save that one right there, and I'm going to share that with the I'm going to start out with this amount just because I don't want, I, I want, <laughs> I want it to be coffee. I made a big giant uh, chocolate chip uh, sandwich kind of thing here. I'm going to let Tom get melted in a little bit and I'm just going to... Oh, oh man. yeah, it's melting nicely. I mean, look at that. Oh man, I had a little bit on my thumb. The, the, the coffee flavor I think is going to be phenomenal, but that is going to kick you, Tom. Oh, this is going to hurt. <laughs> this is going to hurt. I got way too much. Well, oh, that's awesome. That's a full mouth burn immediately. Right in the coffee. Mmm. Mm. The flavor's awesome. Mm. And like I said, this is coming from somebody that just doesn't drink coffee. Not, not that it's a bad flavor. I just choose not to drink coffee. Mm. That's really, really good, y'all. And again, the, the right amount of burn. It's not overpowering. But I would say if you're not a chili head, I don't know. You might not want to try that. You think? I think, because that's a that's a good burn. The burn mm -hmm. for me is getting down into the uh, mm. esophagus and stomach, right from the coffee. Mm -hmm. It's going straight down. I really don't have a mouth burn out of it. I tried to hold some in my mouth a second to see if I could get a burn out of it. Mm. I'll say this. It goes excellent with chocolate chip cookies. You could actually put that nice. on or, or cover... And then maybe put some chocolate around that. Like, mm hmm. Mm, chocolate caramel whoopie pie. Kind oh, of. yeah, you're darn right. That, hey, there you go, y'all. 
There's now, a good idea. I held the coffee in my mouth for a minute. Mm. Uh, by the way, it, it flavors the coffee tremendously. Uh, the thing that, that, that it surprises me with the coffee is since it is coffee and so thin, it takes it right down into your stomach and your esophagus. So I feel it immediately here. And uh, it's not bad though, it's, it's kind of pleasant. Uh, I held it in my mouth for a little while and uh, got a good mouth burn. So. It's very interesting. And I'm going to finish this other cookie while I'm on. This definitely camera. a good scorpion burn. Oh, yeah. No doubt about that. That's just You're probably getting a good mouth burn from it, eating it like that. See, I, drinking it in liquid, it goes straight down. And like mm -hmm. I'm saying, I, my mouth burn's virtually gone now, even mm -hmm. though I swished it around. But I still feel it in my esophagus and on down. And it's not a... Um, it's not like an indigestion burn at all in my esophagus no, and chest. Not. It's actually it's a warm no. feeling. I would I would almost describe it as, and I hate to say it this way, being a pastor and all, but I know that feeling. It's almost a feeling of like you took a big giant so uh, get gulp of liquor and it warms you from the inside out. Well, that's the way this scorpion coffee is doing now. This coffee coffee caramel mixture I have. And by the way, I was drinking a bean that I ground myself. It was an Italian dark bean, very dark. So it, first of all, it has lightened up my coffee a little bit. It's, get, it's made it sweeter, but not too sweet. I do not like sweet coffees. That's why I drink my coffee black. This has not made it too sweet at all. Mm. I, can, I can actually taste the cream in it this way because I know when, uh, what heavy cream tastes like in, in coffee. Uh, but it's good. It's not a bad flavor. But I'm really, really getting the scorpion coming through. Uh, I can feel it now starting mm -hmm. to renew the burn in my throat again. I love the caramel. That caramel is phenomenal. That's the last flavor I get is the caramel in this coffee, though. Well, I'm but it's coming through. Ricky, uh, you and Renee have once again, I think, hit a home run. Yep. I mean, you I'm know, gonna, I'm going to throw this out for the people that don't, that don't drink coffee. And I don't like the coffee flavoring. If you just had caramel and the scorpion stinger in that, and you could put that in some hot chocolate, that would be a good product also. I'm just throwing that out there for them to think about it. Because this right here is awesome. It really is. And um, we're definitely going to have to use this up before the holidays, too, man. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. That's good Thanksgiving, stuff. Thanksgiving, Christmas. I think it'd be good on an apple. What do you think? Cut up an apple and eight. It's already peeled. Be Put good. some on there. On, on apple pie. That would be great on apple pie. I think it would be fantastic. That's good stuff. Again, this is Crimson Steel. Reverend Tommy Two-Tone. And we are saying good night, good day, God bless. God bless.